This is a demo of setting up and calibrating Expert Sleeper's Silent Wave voice controller in Ableton Live. This is the hardware setup I'm going to use for this uh, tutorial. We've got uh, a modular synth connected to a Motu Ultralight. Um, so there are various connections coming out of the Ultralight. Uh, at the bottom, the main output pair is just going into my patch bay that's routed straight back into the uh, monitor speakers so we can hear stuff. Um, the two outputs at the top, uh, outputs one and two. Output one is routed to the oscillator pitch CV there. And output two is routed to the gate input of the uh, envelope generator. And the input to the ultralight is analog input three, and that is coming from the output of the VCA. So it's a perfectly simple um, VCO envelope generator VCA patch uh, connected to the ultralight for this demo. So first of all, we're gonna set up a track to um, just be able to hear the synth um, so we can listen to what's going on. Um, so I'll set up the input, it was input three on the ultralight, turn the monitor setting to in so we can hear it. And if I just tr trigger the synth manually, we've got audio coming in. So that's great, we can hear what's going on. So the next thing we'll do is set up a track for Silent Way, and we'll rename that track. Okay, so this is gonna be the track that's gonna have Silent Way on it. Uh, so we'll just insert Silent Way voice controller. Uh, there's two options, the synth and synth and the effect versions. We'll use the synth one. Um, no real reason, just a matter of personal preference. So we'll insert that on the track and we'll close that to make a bit more space. Move that over there. Okay, so this is the voice controller track. Um, that is going to send CVs out to uh, what in live is called 3-4, uh, which is 1-2 uh, on the ultralight because of the slightly confusing channel naming that you get with a combination of a Moto interface and an Ableton Live, but that's the right ones that are connected to the synth. And uh, that's going to take MIDI input from uh, all our inputs so we can play stuff. Um, I will turn monitor in so we can hear it live. Now that's actually enough to be able to uh, play MIDI and have this uh, plugin do something. Uh, though of course it's not playing any meaningful notes because we haven't calibrated it yet. But you can see it's triggering the envelope on the synth and the envelopes in silent way are running when we play MIDI notes. Like so. Um, if we want to take advantage of the full uh, range of outputs from the voice controller, we're gonna need another two audio tracks. Um, which are routed as follows. So we want to take our input from track three, Silent Way Voice Controller, uh, and then this drop down gives us access to the other outputs of the voice controller, outputs three, four there, and the same here, and then we'll take outputs five, six. And again, we'll set monitor to in, and then these are going to go to other external outputs, which are unconnected in this demo, but this is how you would set it up. And again, if I trigger some MIDI, you'll um, see that these extra tracks here now have the envelope signals on them. So there we go. Um, and then for calibration, we're gonna need another audio track. And this is gonna be, uh, we'll call this synth in, and that's going to take external audio from the synth, which is Input three, same as the one we're listening to over here. Monitor to in again, and this time we're gonna send the audio to the Silent Wave voice controller. And you see that automatically now says one, two, Silent Wave voice controller. So now we've got audio going into Silent Wave, we can press the calibrate button and it will calibrate. There we go. Nice calibration, and if we now play a scale on our MIDI keyboard, we now have a nice calibrated synth. Now, to use this uh, again, 
uh, well, certainly at this point, even we can delete this uh, calibration channel if we're not interested in using it anymore and we can still play. Um, but for even easier setup next time, we can save the calibration as a text file. I just put it on my desktop for easiest, calibration.txt. And then if we wanted uh, at some point in the future to make another voice controller channel, uh, let's insert a MIDI track. Uh, get our plugins back, put another voice controller on that channel. Rather than going through the calibration pre uh, procedure again, we can just hit load uh, back to the desktop. And that's the file we saved, calibration.txt, open. And there you go. Uh, easy, ready to go, silent wave voice controller. And that's it.